Variable frequency drives create common mode current, which can be detrimental to optimal system performance. Installing VFD cable between the drive's inverter and the motor can help control this common mode current and reduce the chance of issues, which may lead to downtime or equipment failure. Common mode current in drive systems is comprised of components up to and over 30 MHz. The amount of current can be significant. Currents of tens of amps are not uncommon. This can create problems when unshielded cable is used. Drives create common mode current. It's the nature of the technology. This common mode current gets pushed down the cable from the drive's inverter to the motor. According to Kirchhoff's law, the current must return to the inverter, but what path will it take to do so? This current is unlikely to return to the inverter through the cable ground. Because of its high frequency, it likes to travel on a conductor's surface and not through its cross-sectional area due to the skin effect. Cable ground wires have a small surface area compared to a common path of this current, building steel. This current can travel through the motor frame and base plate and through building steel back to the inverter, potentially creating operational problems for any control or communication devices along its path. Tens of amps flowing on the ground next to one of these devices can cause intermittent issues with the device or outright failure. Because this current path is unknown, it's impossible to predict where the current might flow on its way back to the inverter. In addition to flowing through the motor frame and base plate to building steel, another possible path is through the motor bearings to the motor shaft, connected machinery, and then to the building steel infrastructure. This path can damage motors by causing bearing damage known as bearing fluting, which can cause motor failure after 3 to 12 months of operation. VFD cable can control the path of this common mode current. The VFD cable's overall shield has a large surface area, which provides a low transfer impedance at high frequency. Terminating the shield with low impedance at high frequency terminations at both ends of the cable provides the common mode current a controlled path back to the inverter. Terminating only one end of the cable's shield breaks the path, and the common mode current is left uncontrolled. The path also breaks if low impedance at high frequency terminations are not installed. Installing properly terminated VFD cable can control common mode current and minimize the chance of device or motor failure.